Okay, reverse match frame. In a nutshell, this allows me to do something like the following. In Avid, I'm frequently cutting a portion of one sequence into another sequence. So very often you are, you've got, say, a sequence version one. I've got like a hero sequence, and say I've got some alternate version that I'm calling another version. And so I've got my hero. In fact, we can, for the purposes of this, we can even call this hero and alt. Um, so I've got a hero and I've got an alt. And in the hero, uh, these women come down the hall and we cut to some cutaways of the bingo game being played. And let's say in the alt, they come down the hall and we go to some other movie for some reason. Um, so we go to this fight scene for the purposes of demonstration. And uh, I want to add that to my hero. We're, the, we've decided we're going to go with the uh, fight scene version. So I want to cut that in. So uh, a quick and clean way of doing that is using reverse match frame. I have the reverse match frame command mapped to my G key. So I find a, a shot that's common between uh, the two versions. And I'm on my record side, and I hit G. And what that does is it brings me immediately to the matching frame on the source side. So I'd mark an in. I do the same thing on the record. On the source, I can then go to the end. Uh, I can go to the after this fight scene, and I find maybe the first or second common shot again between the two versions when I want them to fall back into line. I'd mark an out, and again, I'd hit G to reverse match frame back on the record side to that same frame. And I can double check this and make sure that I didn't screw up by toggling between the two. I can go to my out, I can go to my out. Okay, I'm good. So I can extract the portion here. I can insert edit the new bit, and now my hero version uh, corresponds to the alt in this case, where we go to this fight scene. And then the um, the added sort of bonus hot tip uh, that I, I got from another editor that I assisted for is I like to cut something like this in and actually do it in the middle of a shot. I'm not trying to match up a cut point. Um, a, the reverse match frame I find to be the fastest way to line something up. And then the, the, the added benef benefit is that I'm using the, um, the match frame edit indicator within the timeline here uh, to show me that I, I cut it in cleanly. Love you. I love you more. As long as I see that match frame, I know it's, I know it's right and I won't inadvertently perhaps get a flash frame of black or if I, if I marked an out point uh, a frame off or something, I might get a flash frame and maybe I'd, I'd end up missing that. Uh, and that can be a pain. So then, then I can just uh, leave it alone and go about uh, the rest of my work or you, know, you can, you can re remove the match frames and uh, you're good to go.